Hi, my name is Nicole Nickengas, and today I will be taking you through the procedure on how to clean a sea strainer. Depending on how dirty the sea strainer is, depends on how you will clean it. If the sea strainer is very dirty, you might need to use a power washer, or if it's not that bad, you can use a wire brush to clean it. The strainer hasn't been cleaned in about a year, so as you can see, it's very dirty. Here is the procedure that we will be using today. Ensure that the suction and discharge on the sea strainer you're cleaning is secure. Then open the vent on top and ensure that no water is coming out of the bottom. Once making sure that no water is coming out of the bottom of the vent, completely take off the vent extension. Once the vent is completely off, undo all the bolts in a star pattern. Once all the bolts are removed, rig a chain fold to the top of the cover and slowly lift it up and secure it to a railing so it doesn't fall on you while you're working on it. Once the strainer cover is up, rig the chain fold over the actual sheet strainer to lift it up out of its cover in order to clean it. Now it's time to clean the sea strainer. This sea strainer wasn't that dirty, so we used a wire brush to get all the debris out. We just cleaned the inside and now it's time to clean the outside. Once the strainer is clean, you can now lower it back down into its cover. You may need to replace the o-ring around, but that's up to your discretion. Once the strainer is secure in the cover, you can now lower the top of the cover and put back all the bolts on, tightening down in a star pattern. Once all the bolts are tightened down, you can switch to the strainer that you just cleaned to ensure that there are no leaks coming out of the cover. Once that you make sure that there are no leaks, you have successfully changed the seat strainer.